the third trimester the last stretch the final love i know you're looking forward to your baby's birthday and there's much anxiety welcome to the nursing moms in this video today i'm going to talk about everything in the third trimester the changes in your body the changes in the baby's body and every development your baby gonna have and again we're going to talk about the don'ts and the don'ts and complications and their management during the third trimester welcome to the nursing moms if you like our videos hit the like button and subscribe stay updated for more coming videos by hitting the notification bell the third trimester starts from week 28 of pregnancy up to delivery or it's also rather known as the seventh eighth and the ninth month of pregnancy there's so many changes during the third trimester especially to the baby during this trimester the baby grows rapidly and gains a lot of weight actually by the time you'll be delivering your baby the baby will be about 19 to 21 inches this trimester is generally a maturity stage for the baby the lungs the kidneys that were previously formed will mature in this trimester and be in readiness for delivery did you know that in the third trimester your baby is able to open its eyes and see the baby is also able to hear the baby sucks its hand effectively and again it's in this trimester that the baby is able to identify with the mother's voice very well if at all the baby hears your voice the baby will be able to smile cry any attention given to that voice is very very important in this trimester there's a thick protective coating known as the vernix caseosa that covers the baby's skin actually it's much in the third trimester and its function is clearly to protect the baby mostly from it provides the baby with warmth and there's also a soft hair on the baby's body known as the lanugo all these are present in the third trimester and if you're carrying a baby boy in the third trimester, it's in this trimester that his testes will be sent down to the scrotum. It's in this trimester that the baby will settle for a good position that will enable vaginal birth. Actually, by around week 36, the baby goes head down in your pelvic region. Any, any position that the baby was previously like a transfer slide, the bridge, by week 36, the baby is always settled for the vaginal delivery or for the position that she will be up to the day of labor. The third trimester is equally hectic to the mother due to several changes that occurs to the body. Actually, your body is preparing for labor and there are so many changes. Your abdomen is growing. You have backache, leg pain, leg cramp, the breasts are discharging, they are heavy. There's so much changes that occur during the third trimester. Let's go through them one by one and see how we can have some remedies to help or ease their complications. The Braxton Hicks contractions. Actually, your uterus is doing a warm-up for real labor. And you might feel some contractions on and off they're not frequent and they're not increasing in intensity that's what makes the difference between these contractions and the real labor contractions in braxton hicks contractions the contractions are a bit mild and again they can be relieved by activities maybe like walking changing positions and they don't have frequency of like coming in a regular interval like after every five minutes like in the real contractions this is just a warm-up to the real contractions your breasts are equally getting ready for the baby you'll realize in the last trimester your breasts have increased in size and they're heavy and very sensitive in the final days or few weeks to delivery you realize your breast can be leaking actually it's colostrum just in readiness for the baby frequency of maturation in the last trimester, you'll be making a lot of trips to the bathroom. This is due to the, your fetal head is pressing on the bladder, actually, and making it more sensitive or holding a little amount of urine, and this will always make you walk to the bathroom too much frequent. There is nothing that can be done about it, but again, if you realize you're having fevers, low abdominal pain or pain after urinating then that can be a uti and it needs treatment 
Again, in this trimester, you'll realize that you're having heartburn and constipation. This is caused by the increased production of hormone progesterone, relaxing even the esophagus muscle that normally keeps the food and acid down your stomach. For relief, you have to eat small frequent meals throughout the day, avoid acidic and greasy food like fatty foods, yeah, you have to try as much as you can avoid that. And for constipation, try getting a lot of roughages and drink a lot of water to ease the constipation. Another problem that you can always realize in the third trimester is the varicose veins and the swelling of the lower limbs. Actually, the lower limbs can be swollen and painful. This usually occurs to due to the uterus. Your big uterus always blocks, presses and blocks the blood vessels, taking back blood to the heart. And this deprives or cuts the oxygen supply somehow to the lower limbs, making them swollen and painful. We have abdominal aches and back aches during the third trimester. The reason for this is due to the increased abdominal pressure. Your belly is growing and so there's so much pressure on your abdomen. Vaginal discharge. During this trimester, you'll realize you'll be having a lot of vaginal discharge. As long as it is clear and not smelling, then it should not worry you. At times, you can realize it's even wetting your pants. Sleeping during a third trimester can always be a nightmare, actually, because your, your belly is full, you can't find a comfortable position. Turning yourself is also a problem. For more comfort, you can try using the pregnancy pillows. Put a pillow in between your legs and add more pillows to support your abdomen for more comfort. And again, you have to know that from week, week 36, labor can set in at any time. So you have to be on the lookout for the labor signs. As I previously did a video about the signs and symptoms of labor, both the pre-labor signs and the real labor signs. So you can check on them. And as you wait to receive your bundle of joy, we wish you the very best. Let's meet in my next video. I'll be doing labor and delivery. Thank you.